Hey guys, it's Danilo from the King Realty Group. Hope everyone's doing great today. It's the um, beginning of a long weekend. Uh, you know, happy Thanksgiving to people who are uh, watching this a little later on on Monday. Um, it's been a great September, obviously. The weather's been uh, agreeing with us and uh, hasn't been too cold. Uh, it's been short weather and, uh, you know, t-shirt weather for a long time. So hopefully you guys enjoy a lot of barbecues in the month of September. Um, so today, now that we're in October, we're going to review the uh, Toronto Real Estate Board statistics for the month of September, like we've been doing for the last few months. And um, another thing is just uh, really at the end of the day to get you guys in the, in the loop of what's going on in the GTA market. Again, we're doing these every single month and we're doing these live so that if people are joining in and they're seeing that we have a live video going on, they can watch. And at the same time, if they're interested in some of the stuff we're talking about, they can ask questions and uh, we can answer them right on the spot. This is the whole point here. So um, at the moment, you know, we have uh, some stats that came out uh, recently and uh, they're actually very favorable now. Uh, we mentioned last month that, hey, one of the things to look out for in September is to see if there's a change in our market, if there's uh, an increase in, uh, in sales or if there's an increase in, in price. Because uh, as you know, uh, since, uh, uh, since some uh, housing policy rules have been implemented a few months ago, we've had a few months of declining prices in the GTA. Um, that's something that has changed in September. So we mentioned that, you know, fall market, people are uh, coming back to school, people are going back to work, vacation is over, people are, um, are more active in the real estate market. And uh, for that reason, uh, a lot of times, generally from August to September, we see an increase in, in prices, we see an increase in, in activity as well. And so this is actually something that we did realize and we did see in September. So we actually had an increase in, uh, in the GTA or we're talking Toronto numbers, which is the biggest market of 11.4% from the month of August, which means that instead of a declining number, we're seeing an average uh, increase in prices since August. And uh, this is great because it means that people are, are seeing the value in our properties. Uh, we know that even though over the last few months there's been declining prices month to month, it's actually still been higher uh, every single month since, since the last year, okay, since 2016. So if we're comparing August 2016 to August 2017, it was still uh, about 2 to 3% higher than last year. This year we have a little bit, or sorry, in September, it's uh, about 6% higher than last year, which means that we still have value in our property. Our property increases, our properties are still increasing in value and uh, they've increased um, in price from August to September. This to me, what it means is that people are buying homes. There's a little bit more activity. Um, buyers are uh, putting in offers with conditions on financing and inspection. They're getting accepted. Uh, they're fulfilling and waiving these conditions. They're buying property, okay? Uh, for sellers, uh, it's, it's a better time now over the summertime to be able to sell your home at a decent price. Um, you know, we've had success in selling property within one or two weeks uh, when the average days on the market are, you know, 20 to 30 days in most uh, regions of the GTA. And so things like marketing, uh, things like staging, which is things that we always include are, are making the difference. Uh, when you have 10 houses for sale on the street, you need to be the one that sticks out so that when the buyers come out and see all four or all 10, all 10 of them, they're going to pick uh, the property that's marketed correctly. Okay. Still one of the biggest com complaints for buyers and uh, uh, the biggest group of buyers right now is millennials is, is poor marketing, poor pictures. Um, and, and these are one of the things that cause you to cause them to actually skip over your listing, for example. So just to give you a quick update here. So it's a, uh, the average sale price is $809,591. And this is uh, this is great news again, because uh, it's an increase from August. It means that, uh, you know, the fall market's a little bit more favorable for sellers now. Um, I would say that, you know, we still have a lot of listings on the market. And, uh, it's, you know, it, it's an argument whether it be a buyer or a seller market. I would say it's a little bit more balanced. Technically, based on the numbers, there's three months of inventory, meaning that if no properties were to come on the market uh, from now, uh, it, would be, it would take about three months for all properties to sell. And, and when, you, when you hear that number, that actually is more leaning towards the seller market. Uh, although a lot of people might think it's still, it, it's kind of like a buyer's market out there. It's only because last year everything was selling without conditions and today things are selling with conditions. That's the only reason. I would say that uh, still it's, it's more so balanced. Um, properties are selling. They're selling a little faster. They're selling for a more reasonable price now. So for a seller, you know, if you're looking, if you've been waiting on the sidelines, it might be a good time to try it out uh, here in the fall market and uh, uh, instead of waiting for maybe next year's spring. Okay? It all depends on your plan though. We would have to really everyone's individual situation is different and uh, we evaluate things on an individual basis. Everyone's, 
um, plan that we set up for them is going to be a little different. Okay. So there you have it, guys. Uh, you know, prices have increased from August to September. This tells us there's more activity in the fall market. Um, you know, prices have increased by about 11% uh, from August, and it's increased about 6% from uh, uh, September of 2016. These are all great numbers. It means that, you know, despite these uh, policy changes uh, in the last few months, uh, we still have a resilience market. Uh, you know, things are still moving for us. And, uh, you know, if you have any questions regarding whether you're selling or you're buying, uh, let me know. I think right now for a buyer, there's an opportunity to pay. They're maybe not marketed right. Maybe they're not priced right. They might be sitting on the market a little longer than they should. Um, we've, we've had some good success in getting and taking advantage of some of these uh, listings. On the flip side, if you're a seller, as long as you're doing things right, you're talking to somebody who's experienced, somebody who's, um, you know, putting the effort in for their marketing, who's, who's doing, who picks the right providers for their photography, the people who are going to provide you staging, very nice staging, by the way, all these things are going to make a difference and uh, they're going to make your property sell over the others. Okay. Um, again, guys, it's Danilo from the King Realty Group. I'm hoping more people can log in and watch us live. So that if there's any questions on hand, we can answer. And I mean, you can always use the comment box here uh, later. If you're watching this a little later and ask us some questions, we can always answer them. Everyone's situation is different, guys. Like, it's hard for a real estate agent to give an overall general um, uh, general uh, comments on, on, on it's something that's going to apply to everybody. It's really hard for us to do that. And uh, so, you know, if you, if you come to us individually, you know, through a DM or something and, uh, you know, we talk about your particular situation, it's going to differ from somebody else's, okay? And there's opportunities out there for people. I'm helping investors buy properties that are profitable and, they're, and their cash flow is positive, meaning that, you know, their expenses are less than the, uh, than the income that they're making from rent. All these things are happening even in today's market, okay? Get in touch with us, guys. Thanks again for listening. And uh, you guys have an amazing day. Uh, enjoy your long weekend. Happy Thanksgiving. Spend time with your family. Put the headset away. That's what my and uh, and enjoy the weekend. You guys have a great day. Take care.